Hey guys, it's Luke Johnson from the Philosophy Teaching app Noetic. Go download it now for your iPhone and your Droid devices. Um, and also subscribe to this video. So something I want to let you know, I just came from the gym and they had Wi-Fi there and I was able to stream stuff. So I took advantage of that opportunity to look for Kierkegaard lectures on YouTube and I came across one that I thought was awesome. And I'll just go ahead and read the description. I'll include it in the link below so you can go find it for yourself. I'm going to I'm going to explicate what I believe the virtues of this talk are. So, um, this was published on May 6, 2014. Dr. Merrill Westfall, professor of philosophy at Fordham University, delivers his talk entitled Kierkegaard on Faith and Reason. Dr. Westfall's talk was part of the philosophical legacy of Soren Kierkegaard lecture series, sponsored by the MA Philosophy Department at Franciscan University of Steubenville. Okay, here are the six virtues of this talk. The first is that I really loved how Dr. Westfall associates, analogizes uh, Shakespeare's Hamlet with Kierkegaard. It allows us to kind of get inside the melancholy of Kierkegaard a little bit better since we're so familiar with Hamlet in this country. The second thing is I, I really enjoyed how Dr. Westfall develops the Lutheran theological historical context upon which Kierkegaard was building his thought and reacting to. I think that's something that I, as a Methodist um, who doesn't really attend church but loves God, uh, is not really that familiar with. So I thought that was really great. The third thing was I thought Dr. Westfold was particularly good at telling us when to associate the pseudonyms uh, with Kierkegaard's own point of view and when not, and sort of associate, uh, letting us know where that cleavage happens. The fourth thing is that it, it seems to me that Dr. Westfold possesses a superior knowledge of probably one of the most difficult Kierkegaardian texts, which is fear and trembling. It seems like he's read it too many times to remember, and that he could just, like, if I put it, force his finger down on a page, he'd be able to recite it from memory. The detail that he has of that text is really breathtaking, and I loved it. It's something that I do not have, and that he certainly does have, and it's a marvelous thing to witness. The fifth thing, controversial, provocative, and so is the sixth thing. He claims, and I somewhat forcefully I think he establishes, that Kier the Kierkegaardian ethical project is a Hegelian ethical project. And what that means is that the Kierkegaardian universal is not so much a Kantian idea, but um, a, a Hegelian communitarian idea, meaning that the highest expression of the ethical is going to become from societal roles. And I thought that was really interesting. The sixth thing that was super controversial was that he points out that both Kierkegaard and Marx published their dissertations in 1841 and that they were drinking from the same intellectual fountain, Hegel. And because of this, you could make the case that Kierkegaard is a weird type of Marxist. And I don't think that Dr. Westfold was wrong to make that association. Um, there is some sort of intellectual shared history going on there. So for all these reasons and more, I believe you should check out Dr. Merrill Westfold's talk, Kierkegaard on Faith and Reason. It's in the link below. And let me know how it pairs with the course that I'm developing on the Noetic app. So download the Noetic app. It's, it's going to be a little while before it's up, but maybe you're watching this in the year 3000 and it's been up for like 900 years. So, um, okay, that's it. Have a good day, guys. Bye.